hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching us how to cut and fix the vintage shirt so please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video thank you so much the very first thing we are going to do is to fold this part of our fabric like you are um, folding your zip allowance for the, this folding is for the button though this for the front piece of our shirt you just fold it like this you can use your pins to attach it after pinning our allowance for the button hole you take your length measurement then divide the button hole into two like this is that part you're going to start your measurement from all your measurements just divide it into two you're starting your measurements from that part so we take your shoulder measurement i'm taking it from that the um, division i took eight inches then your arm o i'm using eight inches just measure your eight to confirm then you rule out just our normal basic bodies pattern i have a video on it i'm going to add it to this video then you measure your bust measurement divided by four plus your uh, one and 1.5 inch allowance then for my body i'm not using the waist measurement or the or the hip or that i'm just going to use my bust measurement down for the measurement you can take your waist measurement when you get to the waist part but for this shirt i'm not i'm just going to use the same measurement so it's going to be straight instead of coughing into the um, waist measurement so you can take your waist measurement if you want. I'm just taking this one straight. Then you take your one inch down for slanting. Then your your neck line. Don't forget to measure from that mid point. Then you connect your arm o measurements. Then you just cut out. When you are placing your front piece on your back piece, you make sure it is starting from this division we made because all our measurements are starting from there. For the back piece, we are just going to take one inch at the shoulder side so the back can be longer than the front. Then you roll out just one inch. Then after cutting out, you just fold it together like this. Cut out your ammo and cut it down to the end. Just trace it out. Then we are going to com coming back to the neck line. You measure your 2.5 inches or 3. I'm using 2.5 because I want it to be choked. So you cut it out. That's on the front piece too. Then you fold it like this. Where we cut our number. After cutting out your front piece and back piece, they should look like this. So the next thing we are going to do now is to join them together. So you just open up your front piece like this don't forget to notch that um, button allowance we took so place your front your back on your front then sew the shoulders together now i want to cut the short sleeve i'm using 11.5 inches because i'm still going to fold it in by two inches so 11.5 measure it and roll it out then you measure your four inches down like we cut a normal short sleeve then you connect make sure your measurements are correct add your allowance then you measure the down which is um 14 that's seven plus your one inch allowance then you connect it that's all you cut it out on both sides up and down we are going to fold the under part then just notch it after after joining them together the shoulders then you take your sleeve i've turned the down i folded it so you just join your sleeve from one end to the other end on the both sides left hand so i've joined the sleeve and i've taped the down the next thing you're going to do is to is to join them together the sides we've not done the button oh yes that one is for later so you join the sides together take your accurate measurements join them together then we're going to come back on the both sides 
so now i've joined the sides together then you just weave it use your weaving machine to weave it the shoulder the side the armhole everything you weave it out so the next thing is to fix our button hole this place i know you just turn it to the other side like this then use your aiming gum to gum them down like this it's going to look like this you can sew that part but still you can still use your aiming gum it's fine but i like my aiming gum instead of sewing i don't want the stitches to show outside but you can if you want to but i rather use my aiming gum so you just use your iron to press it down that notch part straight down now i am done i fixed my aiming gum and this is how it is looking very neat you can still sew yours that is very okay then just sew the m then we are done with our shirts you can add your pocket then it's just the color that is remaining i have a video on how to cut and fix the color i'm going to add it to this video then your button o you fix your button o fix your buttons and our shirt is ready so please like this video comment and share this video <music>